Hey y'all, so I was serious when I said a love bomb. Um, I don't think I ever told y'all my hair was gonna be red. It's actually burgundy, it's 99J, but I got it on this um, filter and I'm sitting in my kitchen so the light is like really, really bright. Um, get into it, love bomb. Uh, when I tell y'all, I think I told y'all this before, my nail tech and my beautician, they're highly anointed. So even my nails, like these are glow in the dark. Like that surprised me when I pulled them out the thing, I was like, is this going dark? Like. I ain't going to tell y'all why that was so significant to me today, but so God pretty much been dealing with me, not in a bad way today, but just like heart checks. And I knew when I was getting my hair done, cause I got my wig installed first when I was blowing up the community post, I knew when I was getting my hair done, he just wanted me to talk to y'all about where I was last year, as far as like a been there, like, you know, let's bring it in type of video. Um, and, and so, so I already knew I was going to talk to y'all about that, but let me interject real quick. The love bomb, I had already said it in a comment to somebody, but it was kind of like, if the love bomb ain't the kingdom spouse, you still going to be straight. And um, I didn't want to make like a Valentine's Day type of like, let's focus on that. But essentially that's what this is because this is, we're talking about where I was last year. So where I was approaching Valentine's day last year. And I know we all understand it's just another day. Okay. We don't judge people for wanting to celebrate it, wanting to celebrate love day with their um, special someone. Right. And for a lot of us, we're not actually with our special someone. We're still technically single. And so um, that's okay, right? And um, also, you always have a Valentine in God and in Jesus. That's actually the lesson I'm teaching the kids. And it's an everyday Valentine. For me today, a lot of it was realizing like, oh, okay. So some of the love bomb is just like when I tell y'all, I was spent four hours at the hair salon and then four hours at the nail salon because I literally spend time just with them, talking to them about love, relationships, loving on them, pouring into each other. And I was like, oh, this is definitely part of the love bomb because like I had told y'all, like I'm in such a celebratory mood and I was telling y'all that. And then my uh, beautician was like, I'm just so happy. And I was like, what is going on? Like the whole time I was in the shop today, right? And so um, I understood that was a lot of the love bomb. Like we all just feel so loved. We all just feel so excited because of what God is doing in our lives. Even if we don't know what he's doing in our lives. Because a lot of us feel like that. Like I'm excited. Can't really tell why, but I'm excited, you know? And so we was all feeling that. And it was literally just a love bomb and, and, and talking and, and healing and loving on each other. Like that's literally how eight hours of my day went today, right? But before I get into like where I was last year, another heart check was just kind of like, after I got the wig installed, I was like, okay, okay. You know, like I was feeling it and um, got my nails done, feeling it. Like I love getting my nails. I think I love getting my nails done more than I like getting a wig installed, right? Or, uh, oh no, nah, I love braids. I can't say that I love braids, but I think I like nails more. And so what I realized like, I wasn't feeling it and y'all I don't mean like I'm not feeling it because you know like I like it but I really had to ask God like why do I feel like this and he didn't answer me until actually I came in here and I was about to record but earlier it was just like I was 100% aware I didn't want to like post how I was looking, although I'm loving it. I didn't want to post it to Facebook. I didn't want to post it to Instagram. I didn't understand why I was feeling like that. One is because I recognize how it brings so much unwanted attention and lustful spirits, right? Like your kingdom spouse loves you, sweatpants, hair tied, chilling with no makeup on. That's when you're the prettiest. I hope that you don't take it wrong. Um, and speaking of that, or speaking of songs, uh, that's Drake best I ever had, if y'all didn't know, but B Rose has a song called Pretty Sad. So for all my ladies, I, I suggest, I, I would recommend um, listening to that. That's a good song. And that's something I have to meditate on all the time, especially in today's society. The pressure you feel to have to look like a baddie sometimes and all that. Like, yeah, I can turn it on when need be, but like, it's not fulfilling. And that's essentially how I felt today. Like, my worth isn't in this, okay? Like, my man don't love me because of this. I sent him a picture. Y'all, he was hype, but he wasn't like hype, hype. You know who get hype, hype? The dudes on the internet thirsting after you. The dudes on the internet lusting after you, which is why I didn't want to post it. Don't get me wrong. He was hype, but it's like he literally is more hype when I'm sweatpants, hair tied, chilling with no makeup on. You like, know, spouse love you for your heart. Don't get me wrong. This helps. Remember, I was like, pop your stuff humbly. 
it helps as far as like building your confidence. It is exciting. It is fun for them. Like we ain't crazy. We're we're humans. We're physical. Um, we're spirits in physical bodies. Like even going back to um, look at God. Even going back to the dream I had this morning, I told you like that old demon she was naked trying to seduce chris and he was like no like he knew like she wasn't hitting on nothing he knew she was really ugly that's why this doesn't matter like this the world looks on the outside man looks on the outside by nature like our flesh looks on the outside but like the holy spirit god looks on the inside your kingdom spouse is attracted to your inside and so when your kingdom spouse is in a place where they're desiring that they're wanting that like that other stuff like they they know what's up okay and so like Okay, now it makes sense because I'm over here like, I didn't know why I dreamt that. And then I didn't know why I was feeling like that today. So even for me, I understand that anything that could potentially seduce a man, like, it, that, I ain't there. Like, that, it just ain't it. And so he was giving me Proverbs 31, beauty is fleeting, but a woman who uh, fears the Lord shall be praised. I just think it's really interesting that he would have me release this today when, like, people will argue, like, oh, you look so pretty today. Like this ain't it this is not what matters okay it might get, grab the world's attention it will grab the attention of the wrong men okay but this is not what matters god is so funny and that i was like why do i feel like this and that's what it is it like you fearing the lord is what makes you beautiful okay so i hope none of my words got confused in there y'all know my intentions y'all know what i'm trying to say and so that was one of the heart checks today um like literally didn't want to post it to Facebook or Instagram. I don't know if I will because it's like I don't I don't I don't want all them boys DMing me like and then also dealing with like so when I was coming home because it's like late and I was like God I look too good to be in the house like this. Okay, that's old Megan talking. Where where I'm finna be? I, it, where I'm finna be? it's like my my sister is spending time with her boyfriend my best friend is with her husband she canceled our dinner plans tonight because of her husband my best friends are at home watching their babies and so it's kind of like me megan single right and last year all right so let's get into last year last year after the stuff didn't happen around christmas i was kind of like yeah i'm over it and that was a heart check because it was like are you going to keep releasing prophetic words? Like, he was checking me for that for Christmas. Like, you still got me releasing this stuff about Christmas. And I didn't get, like, no huge, ginormous miracle for Christmas, you know? Like, are you being obedient because you love me? Are you holding it down, playing a position because you love me or for my hand? What are you doing? What are you doing? And last year, clearly, when I gave up and I ran off because I didn't get anything extravagant, it revealed my heart. Like, Oh, I must have been only releasing words prophetically for your hand. And it's not even 100% all that. A lot of it was also, was also like, like, I'm wrong. Because why was I even believing that to begin with? Like, I don't know what I'm doing. So that was another reason why I dipped off. So this time last year, I was, I'm going to just be honest with y'all, partaking in a sneaky link. And um, like I said, I never really had no real Valentine's. So we wouldn't even like press like that. Like I was seeing him all the time anyway. So I wouldn't even like, no, oh my gosh, what are we going to do on this on the 14th? Like it wasn't like that. And then when it's a sneaky link, like you can't be, what you, you finna be doing anyways? Forgive me, father. Everybody repent. Okay. So um, that's kind of how my Valentine's day went. And I had had the dream and shared it with y'all last year. Like we we're going in the spring semester. It was going to be easy. It wasn't going to be that hard. And your girls just start failing tests because it was kind of like, you know what, God, you gonna do what you want to do anyways. Like I ha and and that's my problem. Like when I let go of control, ooh, Holy Spirit, oh, when I let go of control, I do it in a petty, rebellious way. It's not in a peaceful, obedient way. No, He didn't really. Ah, for me, it was kind of like I'm gonna just do what I want to do anyways because you clearly gonna do what you want to do when you want to do it. So, ah. and it's crazy because He sent my surprise back, even in, in that heart posture. Ooh, like we are so not worthy, so not deserving of his love because it was like, yeah, you're not giving me what I want. See you later. And then, but see, I, I'm so rebellious. Like I really be making my life harder, digging deeper, going further into places where I shouldn't be. And for me, he kind of had to send my kingdom spouse to kind of like pull me out a lot of, a lot of that because I would probably still be in a lot of that if I'm being honest. Um, and so that's kind of what was happening with me this time last year. And so for me today, it was like, what if I'm still single next year? 
what if I'm still single the year after that? And I have, and I still have this knowing of where home is and this knowing of where I'm supposed to be. And like this man still not, I must say I'm sold out because I ain't going nowhere. But last year, that's not what I was on. And so I just want to encourage us to continue to check our hearts because like, even though a lot of us was like, mm, no, I felt like God was telling me to get cute. What if he was just telling you to get cute for your confidence? What if he was just telling you to get cute for him? What if you don't see that man? Like, what if there's no surprise? Like, in the next few days, you get what I'm saying? Now, don't y'all, y'all know we just surprise shoddy crew. Surprises is coming. That's not what I'm saying. But I'm saying, what if it don't come when you want it to come? What what if it don't come when the rest of the world celebrates love? I'm telling y'all, I kept thinking so much was supposed to happen for me last year for Christmas and it, and it happened in March. And I was like, what is this, right? Now, am I am I expecting a certain pattern this year? I am. I am expecting February to have surprises. It might not be related to love, but I'm expecting something to shake in my love life next month. And so when I was in the celebratory mood earlier, I just wanted to celebrate life and love in general because I'm so in love with God. I'm so happy for where I am in my life. I look back. I look back over my life. I'm like, thank you, God. Let me tell you all something. I'm going to link my Showtime video in this one because I've been thinking about this, but it was like, but well, what if that's not what it is? In that video, I'm talking about hope, hope deferred because I went from stalking my counterfeit to like this doctor's office and the doctor was Jesus and he was like, your prescription will be ready on Monday. To this day, I don't know what that is. I don't know what Monday that is. I don't know what the prescription is. Now, do I recognize that Valentine's Day is Monday? I do. But in the dream, when I asked him like, how am I getting this? Like who insurance paying for this or something like that? He was like, I was getting it through my dad's life and love policy. So even though I've already been thinking on this dream this week, when I recognized earlier that I was like, I just feel like celebrating life and love in general. I was like, Ooh, I did say that in that dream. Now, mind you in that dream, I'm stalking my counterfeit. I go to the doctor. He tells me the prescription is going to be ready Monday. I go to a theater and I'm looking for my spouse still thinking it's the one I was talking. And they're like, he's behind the stage. He's waiting for you. Da, 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 da. Like I knew I was the leading lady and I knew it was like showtime. This little demon wanted to go with me. I was like, no, I said, stay where you at. And that was a dream. So in my mind, yeah, it would be nice if like all of a sudden Monday is going to be showtime. And I got my prescription for my hope to no longer be deferred in my love life. Right. But I can't even, my hope not deferred no more. Like whatever God want to do. God is going to do it. I just got to be obedient, trust his timing, and let God do God. So what if the love bomb is truly just us all 100% being in that place? What if the love bomb is just like truly just being so in love with God? So y'all, I, I want a nose ring. Oh my gosh, help me. But what if it's just being so in love with God and just showtime is just like now because we're in a new season. Because, y'all, I really do feel like I woke up in a new season. What if that's the showtime? What if it has nothing to do with your kingdom spouse? Now, let me throw something else in here because I feel it to share this. Because it, it feel like I got to go so hard in the don't want it, don't want it, don't want it to make sure that our heart postures are right. Make sure my own heart posture is right. One night I was praying and I pray for this man every single night. And I had to tell God, I'm sorry, I keep praying for him. And he was like, what are you even talking about? Because for some of us, we get to that place like it's wrong to want our husband. It's wrong to pray for our husband. Now, I, I, I have to admit, like I was like, God, I feel like I go straight into praying for him. And I don't even just thank you for life and for today. Like, I, And I had to correct that. But he was like, you're not wrong in praying for him. You should be praying for him every day. You know what? I was wondering why I kept thinking about a nose ring and looking at this. I told my parents I wanted a nose ring a few months ago, and they were like, no, oh my God, <laughs> you know? And I was like, I'm sorry, but when Isaac came and got Rebecca, which is what we were talking about earlier, he definitely gave her jewelry, and I'm almost certain she had a ring for her nose. Hold on. Let me am I reaching? Why am I thinking Rebecca had a nose ring? Okay, anyways. um, The confirmation still has been crazy. Ultimately, in preparing how to be a wife, you got to be God's wife first. And that's if you're called to a godly union, a king, kingdom marriage, if that's what your destiny is, right? Um, and for the men, like, God went on me about submission today. I was like, is this a separate word? Like, I was like, I just, I, 
what's going on? It was so much swirling around in my head. But um, if you're called into a godly union, you too have to submit to God. That's what gives us peace to submit to you guys because we know you're submitted to a higher, not higher. We know that you're, you're submitted to God, the most high. And um, like, if you want a godly wife, you need to be a godly husband. If you want a godly husband, you need to be a godly wife, period. So to summarize everything, the love bomb might not be your kingdom spouse, okay? Because I do feel like the love bomb is for Valentine's Day. Um, but are we going to be okay? He's still checking our hearts. Beauty is fleeting, okay? And are you being obedient? Are you playing your position? Are you sold out for God or for the promise for what he wants to bring you? But also getting into the ladies, it's okay. Like, you know what he's telling you, okay? And for me, honestly, I think I just do better when I just try to, like, talk myself out of it. And not so much just talk myself out of it, but just, like, don't think about it. Like, and let God be God. Because I get worked up and stressed out otherwise, okay? So, I love y'all. I'm a little tired. So, Holy Spirit is still going to do what to do. And I'll see y'all in the next upload.